Hi there! Are you still buying pre-made hummus at the grocery store? If you are, today is the day that that will end. I'm Nancy Farrar, and I'm the chef impersonator. I'm a home cook just like you. Today I'm going to make homemade roasted red pepper hummus. First thing we're going to do is roast the red peppers. I've got beautiful um, fresh red peppers here, and if you have a gas cooktop, that's what we're going to do. You're going to put this red pepper directly onto your gas cooktop. If you don't have gas, electric's not so good, but I'd do it under the broiler if I didn't have, have gas. So all you're going to do is take your red pepper and you're going to put it directly onto the flame. And we are going to char this, and I mean char it till it's blackened on all sides. Um, you got to keep a close eye um, and just keep turning it and you'll hear the pops. I'm going to even turn that down just a smidge. You'll hear the pops and the cracks and you just keep checking and it takes a little while for it to blacken. And we're just going to blacken all four sides of this. Once this is done, all we're going to do is, is put it in some olive oil and um, soften it up in a baggie to get the black skin off. So stay tuned. feel like it's gonna go if it does <laughs> you gotta be careful because you know it feels like this could go when I mean, you gotta trust your instincts right so I'm kind of <laughs> I've never had one blow up yet <laughs> but there's always a first time I'm feeling like it's getting pretty soft so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and all you're gonna do is you can blacken this is this is plenty black so um, all I'm going to do is turn it off and then I've got a simple gallon size storage bag you can't you just put take your pepper put it in the bag close it up and then let the heat um, steam off the skin and then when you're it's done you just it's really easy to peel all the blackness off of the pepper so that's just gonna sit um, what you do is you peel off the black Chop it up, put it in some olive oil, it'll last in the fridge for a long time. So let's go make the hummus. All right, so we have roasted our red peppers and we are ready to make the hummus. So we've got my favorite appliance in the whole world, my food processor. And in the food processor, we are going to put one can of chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans. And you can, I always use canned. That's just what I do. In, into your chickpeas, you're going to add two tablespoons of tahini. Tahini, you can find really in any of the, any grocery store, so our tahini. Then I've got about a quarter of a, a half teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. I've got one teaspoon of salt. And I've got my red peppers. We're going to add to this some nice lemon juice. And then my trusty, my favorite thing, so you don't get the seeds in there. Lemon juice, and you want about three tablespoons, and this is a really juicy lemon, so I, that's all I'm gonna do of the lemon juice. And garlic. So we're gonna take, and you know this trick. That's a tough piece of garlic. To get your skin off, boom, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the end off of there. And I, because this is so large, the recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, but this is really big, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use one, because that's a pretty nice size piece. Into the food processor it goes. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients in there, and our red peppers, we're going to add, the recipe that you'll see in the Star Telegram calls for six pieces, and I'm using jarred red peppers. Um, if you want to, you can. Um, I say six pieces, start with that, one, two, three. You know, it's a relative thing because pieces are all different sizes in that, in a jar if you use them. So, I'm gonna start with that, and then quarter of a cup of olive oil, and I'm gonna turn this on. Here's the thing with hummus. You, you can, always add but you can't take it out so be careful not to put too much in i'm going to drizzle this in until i get the texture that i want and then i can add more salt i can add more lemon juice i can add more red pepper if i'd like so we're just going to process this until we get to a texture that we're happy with and if you want if you love red peppers like i do why not put a couple more 
Now I'm gonna open this up and I'm going to take a little taste and see how we did. Oh, it's delicious. It's creamy. I can taste the, the roasted red pepper and the lemon juice. And so there you have it. I like mine a little bit chunky. So all we're gonna do is pour this into our serving bowl. And I'm gonna have another taste. It's really good. It's, it's really perfect. Um, it's pretty garlicky and I like that a lot too. So roasted red pepper hummus, garnished with little pieces of your red pepper on top. And there you have it. I'm Nancy Farrar, the chef impersonator. And you can find this recipe for the 4th of July, along with three other side dishes for 4th of July picnic in my column in the Star Telegram at startelegram.com or on my cooking blog at chefimpersonator.com. And remember, with a little practice, you too can be a chef impersonator.